Welcome back. There is something new at noon, a growing need for volunteers in Central Texas. Many nonprofits are reaching out to baby boomers to meet the demand, and one organization is rising to help meet that challenge. We welcome Fred Lugo now to the show, director of Coming of Age, and you guys are really tapping into something else. Let's, let's start with kind of the evolution. You come out of RSVP, right? That's right. We do come out of RSVP. Uh, we're looking at the baby boomer population yeah. right now, and as they have a new vision and approach to aging, we recognize that we needed to change our scope of services, and so we expanded them considerably. And now we're focusing on individuals and nonprofit organizations, individuals from the perspective of helping them explore their interests, interests and uh, develop leadership skills and uh, engaging in meaningful service. Right. And from the perspective of nonprofit organizations, to help them learn how to more effectively reach out to volunteers and to engage the 50 plus population and tap into those skills, yeah. the experience that they have. And as we were talking about, that's a huge segment. I mean, that is that is a pool of of resources that need to be tapped into. Tell me about matching specific skill sets that people might have with where the need is. Well, individuals have a lot of interest skills and, and that they bring to the table. And so what we try to do is we try to determine what those might be. Yeah. And then knowing what exists out in the community with the nonprofit world, we match those people with those specific needs that yeah. exist out there. And everybody wins. And, and talking about winning, you are saving taxpayers a lot of money in this too, right? Tell us about that. Oh, in excess of $4 million. $4 million. Yeah, yeah. When you think about it in terms of the number of volunteer service hours yeah. that the older adult population provides, that's what, that's what it translates to. Right. Fred, tell me about the person you try to get. Are, are these people 50 and older with some free time, with, with don't want to go out and get a part-time job, but want to contribute in some way? I mean, what do you look for? People who are 50 and older who have uh, new vision yeah. and approach to aging, people who want to reinvent themselves, sure. who want to redefine who they are, who want to give back in some way. We help them explore how that they can how they can be able to do that yeah. and chart a plan to be able to contribute to the community. Tell me briefly about the MLK uh, day you guys just had. I know I know you've done all kinds of work, but that's one of the recent ones. That that is one of the recent ones. We did that in cooperation with the Capital Area Food Bank. Right. Bank. It was an intergenerational program. Uh, we had close to 40 volunteers who were uh, packing food yeah. and cleaning it and sorting it for distribution. Thousands of pounds of, of Thousands food gone of through. Right. Okay, right. let's tell people how they can get involved. And if you have, even if you don't think your services are specialized or you have a skill set, everybody is welcome to get involved in this at, 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 for the appropriate pool. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Okay, it is the, the website. We can go to comingofage.org, right? Yes, slash Austin. Slash Austin. That's right. Comingofage.org slash Austin. Austin. The number as well is 854-7787. And tell us about this open house coming up Wednesday. Next Wednesday, yeah. 1130 to 330 with a press conference at 1215. Great. It's going to be at 100 North Ags 35 in the Palm Square building. We'll have that information on our website as well. All right, Fred, thanks for being here. And, and tell us quickly about what do you hear from people after their experience. Do they ever come back and say, hey, I'm glad I was involved in this, or they get a rewarding sense out of it? They do get a rewarding sense, and it's, they've opened up their eyes to something that they hadn't envisioned before. Yeah. They now know that they can uh, redefine who they are and provide something to the community that they hadn't envisioned before. Yeah, well, we thank you in advance for all the things you do for our community. Thank you. Fred, thanks for being here. Okay, coming up.